in this video again a local oscillator. It was made on the basis of the first uh, local oscillator that I've showed in the preceding video. But now it works from 11 MHz up to 14 MHz and between 23 and 27 MHz. I did not do a stability test. Of course that's necessary when you want to use this oscillator in the radio. But um, uh, I published the circuit as it is and my channel is meant for people that also like to do uh, radio experiments. Um, I added a few things to the circuit. Of course another coil to get to a higher frequency. Now I use uh, 7 turns here and 7 turns here. This is the coil. On a PVC tube. Again. My favorite material. Paper works better, but PVC is, I think, more stable. Um, both coils are again wound on the same tube as I've showed, but I've used thinner wire. The copper diameter from the wire is 0.5 mm, and with pl plastic isolation, the diameter is 0.9 mm. And another uh, two other important changes um, in this circuit, when I compare it to the preceding circuit, an 18 picofad capacitor here from the gate to the source and the value from the source resistor has dropped to a low value, 1k5. And for the rest the whole circuit is the same. I had to use a disk capacitor to get a good waveform on all these high frequencies and I had to drop the value from this resistor to get a good amplification. Of course the amplification is also set with this potentiometer. And the pureness of the waveform also with this potentiometer. I want to demonstrate it now. This is uh, one waveform. Pull out the knob from the scope, then you can see how the waveform exactly looks. And this waveform is on 27 megahertz. Um, and when I go down with the uh, frequency, you can see that there is a certain point where the whole oscillator doesn't work properly. Here it still works good. This is a lo lower frequencies, but here some strange things happen. I'm working on this issue and I'm going to make an oscillator for this specific band with a pure waveform. And these problems occur around 18 megahertz. So that's why you, you uh, see that I uh, published the oscillator for two separate bands, 11 up to 14 and 23 up to 27. The frequency band in between uh, is not pure enough. So you can use it for these two separate bands. And when I give the capacitor a higher value, the frequency goes down and the waveform gets pure. Let's say pure enough for a radio uh, application. Now we go back to the lowest frequency. Have to drop the amplification a little bit. So the lowest frequency with the capacitor completely tuned in and that is 11. So, as I said, I did not do stability tests. When you want to make the circuit, everything must be stable, short wires, as short as possible. Mount the tuning capacitor very sturdy. Eventually use a, a coarse capacitor and parallel to that a fine tuning capacitor. That works very good 
especially on higher frequencies. This gets extremely important because the tiniest uh, change in capacitance has a sub substantial change in the frequency. Gives a substantial change in the frequency. So that's the good way to get such a high uh, frequency oscillator tuned well. And you can also use other coils. I've used this coil, for instance. It also worked properly. This coil worked properly. And there's another one. This one. This coil also worked properly. But they all have the same strange phenomenon in the around the 18 megahertz uh, frequency band. So. That's a separate issue that I have to study and do more experiments to get uh, good results. Wish you luck.